Hello Scorpio and welcome to your April 2022 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share and if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we will do, we will sort of slightly or loosely divide the areas here <clears throat> so it is easier to understand where this month is going for the sign of Scorpio. What we will do is we will look at the overall energy as it presents itself to you this very month before we will then go into your emotional core and that is about what mm, healing can happen, what doesn't serve you anymore and maybe there is love coming in, who knows. <laughs> and then we will look at um, your opportunities um, as they come in or won't come in <laughs> this month, month of April, for the sign of Scorpio. And the opportunities are mostly about what it is that sustains you financially. Right, yo? Let's have a look at your overall energy for the month of April for the sign of Scorpio. <clears throat> Relatively simply, you have the lion and the hawk. Right? The advice for you this month is simple, and yet it is not. <laughs> the depiction of your star sign, Scorpio, is a scorpion. And <clears throat> the taller the scorpion, the larger the pincer, the less venom it needs. The smaller the scorpion, the less venom, or the more venom it actually has. And so, bear that in mind, <laughs> because you have the lion, which is the tall scorpion, if that makes sense. And then you have the hawk, which isn't the small scorpion, if that makes sense. But... It is less confrontational. So, what will happen in April, energetically speaking, for the sign of Scorpio, is that there will be situations and people that will... There will be uh, situations and people, it's just my cat, um, <clears throat> that may try to push you. Um, what I'm getting is actually trying to sort of even piss you off a little. <laughs> and the lion is the only social cat in the universe. So what they're saying to you is, don't fight them, just remember that the, the, the depiction of Scorpio, uh, oh sorry, the, I can't talk, the depiction here is the male lion. And so his job is to walk the perimeter, the perimeter of his territory, for want of a better word. So what the guides are saying, if people are <clears throat> literally out there to annoy you, to upset you, maybe even to unhinge you, don't, don't, don't. Don't, do not give them the pleasure of achieving what they're trying to do, <clears throat> right? You just make sure that whatever you consider as yours is protected, is safe, right? Um, understand what, what, what yours is yours. Truth needs no defense for scorpions. And then you have the hawk. And the hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide, right? <clears throat> so once you have made clear what the boundaries are, you can just go with the flow. Now, as an overall energy in the sign of Scorpion, Scorpio, the first thing they mentioned to me, to, to, for me to therefore mention to you, <clears throat> is the different sizes of the scorpions. And so there is, obviously, we all have two sides, right, to, to, to ourselves, but they ask you to understand, uh, to understand the longer you wait to speak up, the smaller you become, the smaller you become, the less venom you will use or the less venom you have at your disposal. Right? So, ultimately, cut a long story short, in the month of April 2022 for the sign of Scorpio, this is not low or negative energy. This is simply a heads up, if that makes sense, for understanding that there are people by default that will be very challenging, could also be situations that will be very challenging. And as you know, you know what, I'm protecting my perimeters here, right? Um, and then go with the flow, 
life is good okay that was your overall energy now we're looking at your emotional core see what's happening there let's have a look Yay. you are gonna like this <clears throat> while the guides do not tell me whether or not there's love coming in please remember this is a general reading it may not resonate with all of you but i'm still always ask my, my, my guides to sort of give me a bit more <clears throat> and they're not telling me whether or not there is love coming in right and yet to be fair when they talk to me about healing it feels different this feels about relationships and you have the mountain goat and the raccoon which are freaking awesome <laughs> in that context come on man. oh come on up then oh. Okay, that's it's so cute, but obviously you can't you can't see her just sitting downstairs down there. Anyway, you have the mountain goat and the raccoon. What the guides are saying is when you're planning, there we go. Now we have some some piece of Molly in the in the video. Anyway, what they're saying to you is because you have the mountain goat, whatever you are trying to achieve in the realm of relationship is certainly doable. Now the goat needs some time to get up on that hill, up on the mountain. But once it's up there, it can hang there on two, on two, on, on a cliff on two legs without falling. So what they're saying to you is, while you may have to allow for things to not be immediate, right? Let them grow, right? Give it, hmm. it's not that you have to be, you're right, boy. It's not that you have to be super patient. Sometimes. I don't get her. She jumps on the table, she goes down the other way, jumps up on it again. Okay, there. Mm. Oh. Oh. I'm recording a video here for scorpions. Scorpios, you don't care. I like that about cats, they just don't give a flying fuck. <clears throat> In any case, what the guides are saying to you is with regards to love, right? Allow for it to take some time, right? You figure this out as you go along. And it will work because when you grow together, once you're up on that hill, things are fine. The other thing that you have is the raccoon. And the raccoon is what is known as a, are you okay? As a shapeshifter. And the shapeshifter is saying to you, in the relationship, you will also allow to... Have a look at what's going on with the person you're with and maybe adapt a little more. Don't be set in your old ways. Um, and if you are a person that is not yet in a relationship, um, then what they're saying is allow for relationships to take a little longer to really feel bloody awesome. And also understand is um, that people, or when you are going, or when you're engaging, when, you, when you're committing, don't show your ass, <laughs> well, um, that you also are asked to compromise and to change and go with the flow. And remember, you can adapt to situations very well. So if things are coming to you or should things are coming to you um, that are not, where you're not that comfortable with, you will grow into it. Okay, that was that. What are you leaving? Um, what are you doing? Hmm? You don't know? Anyway, let's have a look at the opportunities as to present themselves to you for the month of April in the sign of Scorpio. Oh, you're such a, such a sweet girl. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me just have a look. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, opportunities. You have the moose and the great horned owl. For the month of April, for the sign of Scorpio. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Yannick. Please like, subscribe and share. Now, you have the moose and the great horned owl. What the guides are saying to you with regards to opportunities. It feels like you're waiting for opportunities and it won't quite work that way. If you have been promised a new position inside an existing hub, if that makes sense, or anything where you have been there for a long time and you're hoping to get um, a better position, while the guides are not saying that you won't get a better uh, position, ultimately, 
Waiting is not really for you. Now, that sounds a bit weird because the moves by default, anything that has to do with the deer, um, where, where are you? Right? Is asking you to be patient. But at the same time, the moose has a split hoof. So when the terrain gets difficult, live long and prosper. When the terrain gets difficult, you're not going to think in. So what the guides are saying to you is while it is not necessarily the worst thing to wait, energetically speaking, in the month of April, you will be better off, if that makes sense, um, forging your own path, if that makes sense. And what I'm getting here, remember, this is a general reading but what i'm getting here um so this must be for someone specific or for a couple of people specifically you have the great horn the great horned owl which means um you are a person very likely that even though you work in you might work in structures you are not all that good in following orders and that's not a bad thing when it comes to to the universe because if you could be self-employed if you create your own time your own day your own things. You know where this really why is she clingy? What's going on? Hmm? Anything going on I'm not aware of. Hmm? So where were we? Yeah. <laughs> the screech horned owl. The owl is drawing an auditory map, which means she can hear the mouse in the undergrowth and she won't get caught in it. So when it comes to opportunities if you understand who you are and if you know your strengths, you will find a way to shine. And because they're sort of showing me um, self-employment, for want of a better word, what they're really saying to you is, you know, reflect on how, how um, fulfilled are you being employed somewhere else, making someone else's dream. Okay, so, Molly, shall we say goodbye? Let me just see if I can move this thing. There you go, you're so cute. Anyway, <laughs> Scorpios, that was your general reading for the month of April 2022 with myself, Thomas Yannack. See you next month.